Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Cloud Ops Junction. So in this session, we are going to see how we can uh, remove the Azure Active Directory Connect and stop the Active Directory Sync between the on-prem Active Directory and uh, Azure Active Directory or Azure Enter AD. So if you see my screen, I have already have a domain called avdcloud.xyz. That is my on on-prem server. If I click on uh, Active Directory, you will see there is a, you will find that avdcloudxyz.com is my domain name and I have couple of users created. Let's just like it to have a look on these two users. AVD admin and cloud admin, these are created. Now let me jump into the my, uh, let me jump into the uh, enter ID and let's see. So now this is my Azure account. Azure subscription and uh, let me show you the custom domain that I have purchased. So in custom domain you will find azureavdxyz.com this is my custom domain and if I go to users you will find both the users uh, avd admin and cloud admin over here. So you have a you have ad connect I have a specific account that I have created for the ad connect we have AD, avd admin and we have cloud admin over here. All right. And if I go to again, if I go over here, and you will find that AD Connect is enabled, and last sync was happened a year ago. I mean, sorry, a year, no, <laughs> a hour ago. Now, uh, the first step would be uh, to remove the. The first step would be uh, to install the MS Online module uh, on the domain controller using PowerShell. So what we will do, we will open a PowerShell command on, let me open, sorry, uh, PowerShell, alright, so I will install this module. Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's click A, yes to all. And it, is start, it, it started installing the packages for us. Once this is done, we will do the uh, MS Online installer as well. Now this is done. Now what we will do, we will put the MS installer. Uh, a to all. Okay, now what we will do, we will run another command to connect to Microsoft portal as a global credentials All right, so we have uh, suspended the services now. So once the sus services is suspended, uh, we have to uninstall the AD Connect. What we will do, we will go on app switched on CPL. We will click on AD Connect, uninstall, yes. Now what it will do, it will remove everything it is going to uninstall and it is going to stop the sync as well. I mean, it's going to break the sync as well. 
So let's check how much time it will take. It usually not not take more than five or ten minutes depending on your infrastructure. So it was a test infrastructure for EVD. I have created for EVD. So maybe in the future you while you would be seeing a complete series on EVD as well. So please stay connected and if you are not subscribed to the channel, please guys subscribe it. Okay, now this is done. So what I will do, I will click on exist and there is one more thing that is the agent that you need to uninstall. So we will install this agent as well and it's re close and restart if required. We will give a reboot and post the reboot. We will delete the all Azure AD related folder from the C program files so that it get completed. Let me try to do it now. Let me show you what are those folders that needs to be deleted. If I go to on to C and if you go to program files, you will find couple of folders with the name of so from this to over here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, AD hash. You need to delete this and just restart your server and it should be fine. Once the AD sync is completed, I mean you reboot 